Now, the nice thing about alkynes is we can draw a lot of parallels back to alkenes to explain what's going on. So in a previous video, I talked about the physical properties of alkenes versus alkanes and said the alkenes have a higher boiling point even though you lose the two hydrogens to take an alkane to an alkene. So here I have butane and then here I have one butene. And the butene has a higher boiling point because these pi bonds on the double bond, if we were to draw them, end up sticking out above and below the plane of the alkene. And what they'll do is they'll act like p orbitals and they'll stack on top of each other and we'll get what's called pi stack. And they'll end up interacting with each other and actually forming what look like bonds between the different materials. Alkynes are gonna act the same way, just kind of more extreme. So if we look at the alkyne, and we were to draw it kind of on its side, we'd have one set of pi bonds due to the first bond, and then a second set of pi bonds due to the triple bond. So this gives us twice as many opportunities for these materials to interact. And so alkynes are going to have a higher boiling point than alkenes for the same reason that alkenes have a higher boiling point than alkanes. They undergo pi stacking, but because they have two pi bonds now, they're they have a lot more opportunities to do it, and this ends up creating a lot stronger intermolecular forces between the molecules. Now, still, these are going to act more. They're going to act kind of polar. They would still have the nonpolar functionalities here, but this is going to act polar because of that buildup of electron density due to the pi bonding. So, physical properties of alkenes, alkynes.